welcome back to my channel this is miss lauren lee 11 if you're new welcome and if you've already subscribed and you know what i'm about then thank you again for coming back and seeing what your girl's doing so as you may be able to tell by today's title i am going to be showing you maybe one third of what's in my hair stash okay and a lot of things that i've had to separate them into categories and what i mean by that guys is i'll be showing you detanglers leave-ins cream stylers, gel stylers, finishers, and enhancers. Now what I mean by enhancers is something like this. Yes, yeah, so a hair wax, color wax, but not an actual dye, something that enhances my curls and what have you. So let's go into it guys. And just to let you know guys, some I don't, I don't particularly like, but the majority of these things are the things that I do actually use on my hair. So first guys, I'm gonna start with the detanglers. Now, I've got two detanglers that I've been using. I do prefer one over the other. I prefer one for my hair more, and the other for my kids' hair. These are the two detanglers. So I've got Texture My Way Easy Comb, and then I've got Mane and Tail Detangler. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk about these in a little bit more detail. So price-wise, this is 3 dollars let's just say four pounds, and this is three pound 50. Okay, so let's talk about the mane and tail first. Now this one is the one I prefer to use on my hair because it is a spray and I find that watery detanglers work best with my hair. I just spray into my hair, glide my fingers through, it really does the job. But I'm assuming it's to do with my hair texture. My children have slightly more tighter curled hair than mine. So therefore, when I spray it in their hair, it tends to tangle it a bit more. I know it's kind of defeating the whole purpose but it does so for their hair I move on to texture my way okay so as I said that one's a liquid but as this is a cream I will show you okay so as you can see it's quite runny it's not super thick it smells like um like a sweet song let me just go to say what they have in them or what they don't have in them so the texture my way contains shea butter and olive oil and it says it's sulfate paraben petroleum oil and mineral oil free so that's it. now the mane and tail detangler it contains water dimethicone so obviously it contains silicones guys and maybe that's why it doesn't work so well on my kids hair but my hair loves silicones my kids hair not so much now let me talk about the leave-ins the first one being I've shown you this in one of my videos before Palmer's Natural Fusions Mallow Root Leave-In Conditioner and this was seven pounds I believe. The smell is amazing, very very florally light scent but I wasn't a fan of this. For the price I don't think it done an amazing job. My hair didn't feel super moisturized or soft or anything. It didn't feel any different as to me just using a normal leave-in conditioner. I wasn't that impressed for you know the amount that I actually paid for it I wasn't that impressed so, so it contains mellow roots and I've mentioned that before it's got water glycerin coconut oil so will I be repurchasing that one again no I won't so this leads me on to prized leaving right now it's the glycerin and rose water and the reason why I say this one is different is because this is being sold in boots as a toner for your face and your skin as you know, glycerin and rose water can be used in your hair, so that's what I do. Now this is the best one for my family. Reasons being, my daughter's hair is more on the border of 4B. Her hair gets very dry and can tangle into itself very, very easily. This is amazing, it keeps her hair moisturized, stretched, soft, fluffy throughout the whole day. All I need to do again in the morning is just spritz some on her edges, on her ends, and then we are good to go because the hair is still moisturized. So as I said, glycerin and rose water is my favorite, favorite, favorite leave-in at the minute. Let me show you another leave-in. So these leave-ins that I'm about to show you, not really a fan of them too much, that's why they're still here, but I will show you. Actually, I tell a lie, there is one, as I said, that I am using as a leave-in, but it's actually a styler. And you may know what I'm talking about. It's my S Curl texturizing gel that gives me the same effect as the glycerin and rose water the second ingredients on this is glycerin so what I usually do is I tend to 
put it in my hair and then put my styler in, preferably um, a gel. I don't necessarily put this in if I'm going to use a cream. Reason being is because for one, they don't mix together and you get that ball in type of product. And two, with the cream, this alone, using this as a styler alone will make your hair huge because obviously the glycerin is trying to get all the moisture in from the atmosphere. So as it does that, your hair gets bigger and bigger because it's drawing in all the moisture, right? So if you're gonna use this and a cream, can you imagine the volume? So hence why I use this as a leave-in, just under my gel, and it does wonders. These are two of my least favorite. Actually, I don't think that's fair. This isn't my least favorite. I do like it, but what I don't like about it is the price. I'm not happy paying 10 pounds for this every time. It does, see this is 10.99, it's 11 pounds, let's say. I'm sure you've all heard of Shea Moisture. I do like it, but you know, I suppose as time goes on, maybe due to weather conditions, hormones, hair length growing, I don't know. Just, it doesn't work well with my hair anymore for whatever reason. It definitely doesn't work on my kid's hair. It just kind of sits on top like a coating. But for my hair, it's just not feeling it right now. So I'll use it if I haven't got anything else. This and one was kind of disappointing to me because I am a fan of ORS. So I haven't tried this one before until, this is my first jar I've purchased. And this is Cocoa and Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream. I really wasn't happy with the results. It, it's not smooth and it doesn't mix well with other products. So when I say it's not smooth, if you can see that, I don't know if you can see that. It's got kind of like a lumpy type of texture. It will get creamy once you mix it in, but initially it looks like it's curdled. So when I put it on my hair, it kind of stays like that, even if I really have to smooth it in to get it into my strands. And it's just a lot of work. And on top of it, the smell, I don't like at all. It smells very chemically. It reminds me of um, oh, a cleaning product, a lemony cleaning cleaning product. I can't think of it. Like, like an antibacterial. And for the price that I paid, which was seven pounds, and I've only used this amount, I'm not really into it. It's not like I can use it on my kids' hair either, because it does. It has the same effect. And I mean, for the ingredients, like shea butter and cocoa, I thought my hair would benefit from it, and it would do a lot more than it does. I don't know if it's other products that they've added into it, but it doesn't do anything much for my hair, especially not the smell. Okay, guys, so those are the leave-ins. So then I'm going to move on to the cream stylers. So I have done a video on this and I still love it. I just haven't used it for a long time. And this is the curl defining cream that I got from Primark. And what I can compare it to is the Tiggy Curls. Tiggy Curls Curls Amplifier, okay? And I've done a video about solely about that as well, Tiggy Curls, if you wanna check that out. But this is what I can compare it to. So if you can't get your hands on this, you can try the Tiggy Curls and it's the same texture, it's obviously just different smells, different prices, different brands. <laughs> okay, so I paid two pounds for this, which is, it was okay, because obviously in comparison to usual hairstylers, it's quite a good, it's a good deal. I was impressed with it because Primark have now, you know, stepped up to the natural hair community and they're doing curl products. I love the smell of it. It's very coconutty. And the texture is like a lotion and it starts to get a bit sticky. So that little tacky, well tacky I should say, that little bit of tack that it has, lets me know that it's going to have a great hold. So it does, my hair gets big, but it's also got a hold without a crunch. It sounds impossible, but it's true. <laughs> so I love this. Okay. Other style that I use is my beautiful textures. I love beautiful textures, moisture butter, curl whipped, sorry, whipped curl cream. I don't use it solely as a styler because when I put it, to my wet hair, I then have to reapply it. It's like it's not absorbed properly. So I don't have to reapply it once my hair's dried. I'd rather just use it for a twist out or a braid out. It's, again, it has no sulfates or parabens. The price is £3.89, so quite a good price. It smells very sweet. I think I mentioned that before. And the texture is kind of like a little body lotion, as they usually are, I suppose. But it does stain your hair quite long. Um, I would say, when I say stays in your hair quite long, I mean you don't have to keep re reapplying it once you've applied it to dry hair. If you do, your hair will start to look flat and greasy, so I wouldn't suggest doing that. But 
This one I do recommend, this is a really good one. Curl Maintenance, Defining Curl Whip by Aunt Jackie's. Now I don't know what it is, I don't think Aunt Jackie likes me, I don't know because her products never work for my hair for whatever reason. I've tried, I've tried numerous ways, I've followed the directions, I've followed YouTube tutorials and I just can't seem to get this to work for my hair. It works amazing for my mum's hair, I don't know if it's for a looser curl texture or what have you but this on my hair, it just doesn't do what it says it's gonna do. It doesn't tame my hair, it doesn't elongate it, it doesn't, it just doesn't do anything for my hair. The whole brand, I've tried the gels, I've tried the deep conditioners, they just don't do nothing for my hair. And they don't mix well with their own products either, especially, well the gel doesn't mix with this, so I wouldn't put in a leave-in and then put in the gel, their gel with this, because it, for me, no. I mean, it might work for other people. I've heard other people have had great stories with Aunt Jackie's, as I said, my mom but not myself, okay? So for 3 99 well let's say four pounds, I made sure I used it. As you can see. And I don't like the smell, it reminds me of Mr. Muscle's furniture polish. I don't like the smell, so I think I will be discarding this one now, to be honest. So my all time favorite styler from the ORS that I do love is Cars Unleashed uh, Coconut and Avocado curl smoothie this guys is the one so I like to use this by itself as just as a styler or as a leave-in but I prefer it as a style if I want my curls defined but I want my hair big as well there's no crunch there's no tackiness to it, it smells yummy it doesn't smell like avocado it just smells really sweet it's like a body lotion and it does actually sleek down my daughter's hair gets rid of any flyaways. I do think this is very moisturizing if you definitely want to put on the ends of your hair also, twist outs, uh, wash and goes, what have you. I think this is, this is amazing, okay? So this is one of my staples that I currently use. These ones, one is more of a styler and the other one's more of a re-moisturizer, let's say. So these are the Cream of Nature brand, the Argonor Moroccan line. I love their brand. I, I will always have a product of theirs, this brand, this line in my stash, okay? So this is Moisture and Shine Curl Activator Cream. And it was okay, uh, the texture was a bit weird to me. I'll tell you why, it's a bit, as you can see, it's a bit sticky. It kind of reminds me of Got To Be Glued. And it doesn't stick your hair like that, but it's very, as you can see, quite tacky. Having that over your whole hair, when it dries, it dries, um, you still get a bit of that tacky feeling, but if you put a leave-in underneath, or if you put the creamy moisturizing oil lotion on top, it kind of eliminates that tacky feeling, but your curls are still defined. This one is a nice daily moisturizer, and it says it's a, it says it's an oil moisturizer, but it's not actually oil, if you can see, let me just show you more cream base and it's thick it is really thick and it does the job okay okay guys I forgot to mention this is one that I really wanted to try I'd seen it for ages and I was so disappointed once I tried it and it is this the Pantene gold series and it's uh, it says hydrating buttercream it did nothing for my hair it looks like this it's creamy which I thought was a good sign it smells like a medicine Smells like some type of baby medicine <laughs> that I remember from my childhood. <laughs> like Infocol, Infocol, that's what it was. It smells like Infocol. It says for dry damage hair up to 72 hours. To be honest, I feel like this made my hair more dry than my hair actually was. My hair was, um, it just didn't do anything for my hair. All the stuff that it promises, it just didn't do anything for my hair. Let me know if you've had any good um, experiences with this because I haven't and it says for natural textures apply a dime size amount rub palms blah blah I don't know how they said to do it it's also it says you can use it for relaxed hair so maybe it's more for relaxed hair I'm not sure but I didn't like the way it made my hair feel I actually had to go and wash my hair back out and then reapply something else so this is not the one it, it is actually still quite weighty because it's still full I used it once and I had enough okay so to be honest I don't know what I'm gonna be doing with this if anyone does want to try it, I may be doing a giveaway and you can try this yourself. Okay, because it's barely used. But um, let me know if you have tried it, okay? So that's what I use for my cream stylers. 
gel stylers. I'm gonna start with the old classic that you see me use all the time, my Olive Oil Eco Styler. I can't let go of this, it just defines my curls amazingly. The price is amazing. It's £2.69, £2.70 let's say for this. I don't. I just don't have any qualms with it. It just does everything it says it's gonna do. My hair loves it, my curls love it. I just, you know, it's a staple. It's gonna have to stay. I tried to get rid of it, I tried to cancel it, but it came back, it came back to me. So <laughs> I'm just gonna have to carry on using it, I'm afraid. Another one I have shown you, which I really do like, is this curl activator from World of Curls. It says awakens natural curls and waves, and it really does. I will be keeping this as a staple in my stash. It contains water, glycerin, uh, a lot of chemicals, so you may not want to use this, but if you did want to try it, I'll link it down in the description below. I do love this styler I'm going to show you next. I'm a bit confused about it because when I first applied it on my wet hair, it done an amazing job, it started to dry, and when it started to dry, my hair started to dry, my hair actually started to look dry, like I hadn't put anything in my hair, it just kind of looked a bit crunchy with a shine, if that makes sense. So then I had to reapply more onto my already dried hair. It was just, it was just a lot, so I had to use a lot. I do like it, but I feel that to get it to work to its best potential, you do need to reapply it. And it's just, is it really economical when you're doing that, when you're trying to, you know, minimize the amount of spendage on your hair products? I don't know. <laughs> So it's this one, it's African Pride Shea Miracle Moisture Intense Curl Activating Moisturising Jelly. So there's no sulfates, mineral oils, parabens or glutens. And it does make my hair feel nice, it says elongates here, I wouldn't necessarily say that. To be honest, I think if any product is um, aimed to curl your hair, it's not necessarily going to elongate it, is it really? Elongate it when your hair's wet, but obviously once it dries your hair shrinks, so it doesn't, I don't really believe in those elongations, I think the way to elongate your hair it's either pineapple or to stretch with a hairdryer. Just saying. Don't fall into the trap. Right, so I'll leave that where it is. I'm not sure if I'll be purchasing it again. I do like it, but um, I don't know. I don't like it that much. Now for the finishers. Now what I mean by finishers is once your style is finished, all the little preps that you'll be doing, like you know the tamers, the edge tamers, and the spritz and all the oils and the sheen sprays and what have you. So first of all, I'm going to use show you this one, my shea butter, which I usually use on my daughter's edges just to smooth them down. And funny enough, her hair is very curly, springs back up a lot with gel, but with the shea butter, it sticks down nicely. It looks very nice. Another finisher that I have is castor oil. And this, this again is from ORS. I don't necessarily use this on my hair. I use it on my daughter's hair because it, this tends to weigh my hair down. All I do with my daughter's hair is I spray it onto her scalp. As you can see, it's quite thick. It's castor oil, so it's quite thick. I just spray it onto her scalp and it leaves, it's like it travels down the strands once if her hair's in a protective style like twists or what have you and it, it continues to moisturize her hair. So that is a good one. I wouldn't necessarily go out and <sighs> buy it again. I wouldn't be on the look for it. If I saw it in a shop and I thought, okay, I'll get it, but I wouldn't necessarily be looking for it again, okay? There's nothing wrong with it, I'm just saying. Another finisher I have, guys, is the traditional olive oil nourishing sheen spray. And I've had this can for so long that I've actually, I actually think they've changed now, changed the design on the packaging. So <laughs> shows you how long I've had it. Ooh. I love this, how it makes my hair look, how it makes my children's hair look. But guys, if you've ever dealt with a sheen spray, you need to use this in a ventilated area. The amount of sheen spray that just gets everywhere, the mist is crazy. I literally feel like I need to spray this on their hair outside. If I do this in the bathroom, we all choke. So I can't I can't do it anymore. And that's another thing why I've got it so lasting so long because I hardly use it. I just I have to kind of spray it in and put my hair in like that and come back. I can't just stand there and spray it on my hair because I will choke. The enhancer, as I said, is my Mofa Jang hair wax. I recently bought a red one, which I think I will be doing a video on. If you want me to do a video on the red hair one, then let me know, leave your comments down below, and I will do that video for you once I take these out. Not too long now. So as you know, this is a hair wax. Well, if you don't know, it's a hair wax, a coloring hair wax, and 
if you can see it's a metallic one and I've got pictures on my Instagram if you want to see how it looks on my curls so you can go to Miss Lauren Lee 11 on my Instagram and you can see that but as I said guys that is so far is like one third of what's in my hair stash and I'm just giving you a little preview into my hair stash today my all right guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon have a great one bye